Hello there, lovely people. It's Lucky Hair, and it's my favorite time of year, summer. I've been enjoying the heat, family time, and the break from school. So far, summer has been great, but the lack of money to do things has not been great at all. But that's about to all change because we are starting our summer jobs as camp counselors. I'm excited to make some money so I can enjoy the rest of my summer. This is a huge responsibility, but some of my peers don't take it as seriously as I do. I'm super excited to be a camp counselor this year. To work with all those young kids is going to be amazing. I'm mostly excited to make some extra money. I just hope these kids are well behaved. I'm sure they will be, and once Miss Carter is done with them, I'm sure they'll be in tip-top shape. That's true, Miss Carter is one tough cookie who doesn't take any mess. Lucky, are you excited to be a camp counselor? Oh yeah, for sure. I'm excited about having some summer flow cash and working with the kids. It is a huge responsibility. Plus, I'm looking forward to making new friends. There are teens from different high schools here. All right, everyone, quiet down, please. Great, now that I have your attention, I'm Miss Charter, and welcome to Camp Sunrise, where camp dreams are made. This training is critical to the success of every child and counselor here. I am very grateful that you have all committed your time to being counselors. I also know that many of you are here just for the money. Whatever your motivation may be, there are strict rules that must be followed. One, treat everyone with respect and come in with a smile. Two, show up on time. For things to run smoothly, we need everyone in position for when the kids arrive. Three, don't skip out on your assigned days. If you do, there will be consequences. I know this is your summer and you may want to have your own summer fun. I just ask that you schedule these events around your work schedule. It's not fair to the other camp counselors when you don't show up. Whoa, she doesn't play. Oh, not at all. One thing I do know is I will have my summer fun. Yeah, you have to. I'm Lucky, by the way. Nice to meet you, Lucky. I'm Kimberly, and that's my best friend Brittany over there. Nice to meet you, ladies. Okay, my camp counselors, let's break down into smaller groups so we can start our training. Does everyone understand the rules? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Great. Let's go. Hey, I already made two new friends. This is going to be a good summer. I can feel it. Who'd you meet? Those girls over there, Kimberly and Brittany. Oh, you better watch out for those girls. Yeah, I heard about them too. What did you hear? Well, my cousins, best friends, older sister's boyfriend, says they are always getting into trouble and doing things they shouldn't. <sighs> you and your long line of connections that no one can follow. Lucky, I just say be careful. I've heard similar things about them too. Thank you, my dear friends. I will take your concerns into consideration, but I will let my own interactions with them form my opinion. That's only fair. All right, you have a point. Just keep what we said in the back of your mind. I don't want you to get yourself in a bad situation. Yeah, we just want you to be safe. Thank you, I appreciate it. But you all should give them a chance too. You might be surprised. We'll see how the summer goes. Okay, children, come in for lunch. All your lunches are on the tables. Just find a seat and begin eating. I know you must be hungry with all these activities we're doing. Lunch is 30 minutes, so once we're done here, we will head over to the animals. I'm so ready for lunch, I've worked up an appetite. I totally get what you're saying. I'm hungry too. Yeah, I didn't think this was going to be so much work. I'm sure you will get used to everything once you do it for a few days. Look, there goes Sen and Brittany with their camp group. You all sit down, and we'll be heading out soon once we're all done with lunch. 
Hey, Lucky. Hi, Kimberly. Hey, Sen. Hey, Brittany. How's it going so far? I'm exhausted. These kids are draining every ounce of energy I have. They aren't that bad. They are just excited. I'm sure things will calm down once we get comfortable with the routine. That's what I was just telling Kimberly. I hope so, because this is torture right now. I think you're being a little dramatic. Maybe I am, but right now, that's how I feel. My poor legs feel like they could just fall off. Who knew there would be so much walking involved? I could use a relaxing day at the beach after all this. Tomorrow is Randy's party at the lake. That's tomorrow? That would be perfect. It's exactly what I need. What exactly is it? Oh, well, Randy is this guy from our school. Every year, he has an epic lake party. His family has a lake house, and the party lasts all day. You guys should totally come. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. What time is it? It usually starts around 10 a.m. and goes all day and night. I just want to get there early so I can ride the jet ski. That's a great idea. There's usually a long wait, and the jet skis are one of the best parts of the party. But what about camp? We don't get out of here until 3 p.m. I guess I won't be coming to camp tomorrow. That's not a smart idea. You will get the wrath of Miss Charter. Some things are worth it. Plus, we'll do it that when the time comes. So, are you two coming? Sounds like a lot of fun. But if I do go, it will be after camp. I made an obligation to be here, so I'm going to honor that. You're going to miss out on a lot of fun. Sometimes that's just what it is. I'm sure it will be a good time regardless of when we get there. We will just have to tell you about all the fun you missed out on. I'd be interested in hearing what we missed. I'll ask my mother if I can go, and I'll let you know by tonight. Sounds good. Zen, are you coming? And what about your friend Sade? You can invite her too. If Lucky is able to go, I'm sure Sade and I will be there too. Awesome. It's going to be so much fun. Brittany, want to come help me throw out this trash? Sure. You see what I mean, Lucky? I do. I don't agree with their decision, but I do know that I intend to keep my promise to show up here daily. I just want to do the right thing, and we made an obligation. Plus, I'm sure we'll have fun once we show up. Yeah, it'll still be a good time. They don't know what they're in for with Miss Charter. Like they said, they'll deal with that when the time comes. Hello, Mommy. How was your day? Wonderful, my darling. I was able to get some gardening done. How was your first day as a camp counselor? It was really good. We were super busy, but the kids had a blast. Mom, can I go to a lake party after camp tomorrow? Who's going to this party? Well, some new girls from camp invited me. Kimberly and Brittany. Zen and Sade will go too, if you let me go. What time is this party? It starts at 10 a.m., but Sade, Zen, and I aren't planning to go until after camp. The party is going to be going on all day and night. What about Kimberly and Brittany? They plan to go early. And miss out on their camp responsibilities? I don't agree with their decision, but they seem like nice girls. I hope their bad choices don't rub off on you. If that was the case, I would just camp right along with them, Mom. You know I'm super committed to my responsibilities. Hopefully, my actions will rub off on them. With all that being said, can I go? You are my smart, strong-minded girl, and I trust you to make the right choices in life. You can go, but you have to be home by 9 p.m. You still have camp in the morning. I do hope your actions affect those girls in a positive way. There are consequences for skipping out on your responsibilities, even some you might not expect. Thank you, Mommy. I will make you proud. So, my mother said, I can go to the party. Great! I'm super excited. All the great barbecue that we will eat and the summer water fun. 
I can't wait. It should be fun. I just hope we are not too exhausted from picking up Kimberly and Brittany slack. You do have a point there. If anything, we could just lay out on the shore and take a nice nap in the shade right after eating some food. You're always looking on the bright side, Sade. And she's always looking to her stomach. What can I say? I like food and I'm positive. I'm hoping that Kimberly and Brittany realize the choice they're making isn't the best. They are really nice and sweet girls. They're just making a bad choice by not showing up to camp. Well, I hope you're right, because I don't like getting stuck with a large group of kids by myself. Though my kids don't really give me any trouble. It's probably because they're afraid of you. Why would you say that? I'm so sweet with those kids. You are sweet to them, but you're also very stern. They know not to mess around. I just learn from the best. Miss Charter. Charter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I gotta go and figure out what I'm wearing. Yeah, me too. I'm going to call Kimberly and tell her we're coming. Okay, see you ladies bright and early. Bye. Bye. Good night, my friends. So it seems like two counselors are missing. Kimberly and Brittany. Does anyone know where they are? I'm sure one of you knows something. Go ahead, Gianna. I heard they were skipping today to go to a lake party. Is that right? Well, I'll deal with them tomorrow. Gianna, you can help Lucky out with her group and Shade, you can be with Sam. Alright, let's have a successful day everyone. Disperse. Gianna, why did you tell on Kimberly and Brittany? Because they should totally be here with us. I wanted to go early to the lake party, but I'm here. Why didn't you go with them if you wanted to go so badly? I need to be on my best behavior, or my mom and dad won't get me the car I'm dying for. Well, we definitely want you to get that car. We're going to the party after camp. You can join us if you'd like. Great, I'm down. Hey Brittany, hey Kimberly, are you two alright? What happened? Oh, hey Lucky, you made it. Yeah, we came over as soon as camp was done. We got here faster than expected. What happened? It's a long story and my head hurts, but I'll tell you anyways. We were one of the first people to get here and Randy offered to let us take the jet skis out ourselves. I've never done it, and I was excited. I was excited too. So we got on the back of the jet ski, and Randy assured us we were going to be safe since he taught a bunch of people and they were fine. I was confident we had this. We were doing fine at first. I really thought I had the hang of it, but somewhere along the line, I lost my grip. Both me and Brittany flipped off the back of the jet ski and landed hard in the water. I hurt my shoulder. And I got bruises from the fall. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you gonna be okay? We'll be fine. Randy's mom helped bandage us up. That was nice of her. Yeah, it was, but mostly our egos are bruised. And now Randy's parents won't let anyone ride the jet ski. They don't want anyone else to get hurt. Like, now I feel kind of bad for telling Miss Charter you were at the lake party. You did? Well, I guess it serves us right. We should have been at camp. If we were, this might have not happened. And the jet ski would still be in commission. We should have listened to you, Lucky, and honor our commitment. Now, we can't even enjoy the party the way we wanted to. I'm just glad you two aren't seriously hurt. And I'm also glad you realized your mistake with the choices you two made. All you can do now is learn from it and make better decisions in the future. 
For sure, I see and feel the errors of my ways. I won't do this ever again. Me either. You guys should enjoy yourselves. Go get some food and meet everyone. I think we're going to leave here soon. We just wanted to stay until you guys arrived. Yeah, we need to rest up so we can be ready for camp tomorrow. And whatever Miss Charter has in store for us. I'm a little nervous. You should be. Well, get your rest and we'll see you tomorrow. Wait, before you go, can you introduce me to some of your friends over there? Really, Gianna? We can just go over there and introduce ourselves. Okay, let's go. that all the counselors could make it today. No room for a lake party this morning, Kimberly and Brittany. No, Miss Charter. We are very sorry for skipping yesterday. We learned the error of our ways and we won't do it again. That's right, Miss Charter. And we are ready for whatever punishment you have in store for us. Well, I'm glad I don't have to give you a lecture on fulfilling your responsibilities. Oh, and there are no consequences. It's summer camp. Whew. Only chores to get done, and today you two will be doing all the chores. Cleaning the bathroom, taking out the trash, and cleaning up the art room after every session. But you will start and finish the day with cleaning out the animal pin. These will be your responsibilities for the rest of the week. Thank you everyone, now let's get to work. We deserve this. Yeah, we sure do. I'll never cross Miss Charter again. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. James chapter 4 verse 7 Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Romans chapter 12 verse 2